tell you, God's evil ain't got no communists. And as a miracle, ain't got no student loan. That's a demon from hell. Don't student loan. Pronounce his name. 
How do you spell your wife's name? Huh? Well, how do you say it? I say, no, no. When the muscle put on? What I said. was written had to first be spoken. Now y'all write the sermons that he may not be speaking. The sermon must meet the need. When you run, everything about your life that is successful is going to run with you. Do you have any children? How many? Four? How many girls? All girls like Barack Obama. The Lord's got an angel, I don't know what, flying and hang, flying over somebody's head that deals with Michigan. That's where you're from originally. Any of your kids there? Now, got just getting spared from an unusual car accident. It's never going to happen. The last time I was in Michigan, I went to Detroit to preach for Welton Smith, but I ended up in a town called Ypsilanti. <laughs> Preaching for one of our coaching preachers who was on the Detroit Preachers. Where you from? Where's your daughter? All right, well, you're gonna be the only one I'm talking to today because... No, no, I got two rules left and I'm done. Number one, don't stand up if you ain't gonna speak up. Why change your posture and not change your tone? The devil's not afraid of your stance. He's afraid of your saying. You have not because... See, we keep our mouths closed until we get the mic. This piece of crap. I want to be on program. Name on a program, but may not be in the Lamb's Book of Life. I hope man got a heaven to put y'all in. When you run, I don't care where you run. I'm not telling you how fast, because I'm not there. It's based upon your excitement. Let me say this last thing for 10 folk. Y'all don't have to stand. Don't feel like you are out of the will of God if you ain't standing. Just don't stand up if you ain't going to speak up. Ain't nobody told nobody to stand. Ain't nobody asked nobody to all stand. Man, that's y'all going to do that. But catch this, Bishop. You may want to high five me on this if Bishop's high five. And if not, I'll catch you in the back when we mellow down. <laughs> myself and others prophesy to people like we're doing to, what's his name? Yeah, when we do that, what then happens is people see that it's real, but then when it does not come to pass, they then say, see, you made me read. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy about this. You then say to people, he spoke it, but it didn't happen. I ain't married yet. I ain't got a car. Then you get one scripture. If what they say don't come to pass, then they're not a real prophet. Let me tell you the deeper revelation of all this. And all I need is 10 people to stay crazy with me. Even if I speak it and it's accurate, Ypsilanti, Lansing, Kalamazoo, PSI, whatever the name is, and it's accurate, right? If it don't come to pass, it is not because, watch, I'm a false prophet. It could be because you're a false recipient. Because you have a responsibility to your prophecy. And if he speaks it and you don't respond accordingly, that's why I teach around the world, response determines results.
run. You who open your mouth, can y'all give it back to me like you had? You that open your mouth and praise for him, God said by the middle of August, I'll start paying your debts. So what is 
the check coming in Williams or Harris? I don't, you know. You said Harris is your maiden name? All right, listen to me. And trust me, I don't make no money doing this. The false prophet don't do this till he taken up off. Anybody that follows me know I don't even preach on money. And I don't raise offer until last. You got to get two checks, one for your name and one for this married name. But the Lord said, anybody else in here with the name Williams better start running because your bills just got paid. And that's about 12 of them. If you don't open your mouths, you won't be getting anything. I know we used to clap in hand, but death in life is in the power of the tongue.
Cine.
Some of you are behind in bills because you're behind in worship. Be seated. You too cool to get a miracle. That's why you gotta look like it and never get it. You got to, you got to dance out of your royal clothes. Y'all, you gotta, oh, you, you better read David. You got to get out of that fake paraphernalia. Let the redeemed of the Lord. Oh, y'all sound good. Let me get, let the redeemed of the Lord. saying, call Jesus, call him fast and loud. Oh, yeah, and they kept us there for hours. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, that ain't it. It's almost there. I tell you, that ain't it. He come on, there you go. You're coming through. Y'all get saved from a simple confession. No excitement behind it. No enthusiasm. No after party. But when I think that's old school. Of the goodness uh, of Jesus. And I'm not sure, some of you holding back. You know you want to cut the food, but you worried about who's going to laugh at you. They ain't paying your bills. They ain't getting you back in school. When I think of the goodness. man said, your faith is not honored by God until you do something foolish with it. And some of you still look the same way. Only thing changed was your posture. Ain't no devil holding you back. That's you. Swag. The enemy of the anointed. Now. 
personalities, be it A-type, whatever type, be it melancholy, sanguine, be it phlegmatic, be it supine, whatever, be it core, core lyric, whatever your dominant personality is that makes you recessive or whatever, at home, we don't want you to be that in church. We want you to be very aggressive and loud in church and then go back to being cool at home. But I want you to say these three words to your neighbor and, and look at their behavior. If they act right, then you know you're right where you need to be. Just tell your neighbor, paid in full. Preach effect. 
actively about his relationship with my cat. It just bothers me, I can't get no talk. That y'all talk more about the relationship he acquired illegitimately. Once, but what you fought for, you don't have that yet. I want something that matches the hell that I've been through, not something that soothes me for the moment. And some of us, for talkers, we are past temporary resolutions. Let's do this because I don't want to talk about it. You do know that. He uh, married Michael, but he slept with her before he married her. Don't y'all act like you don't want to talk about this. This is a part of church history. That's how we got big children churches. Somebody making babies. And we don't ask whether them kids are from uh, a fornication or whatever. Just say, send your kid to ch children church. Accessory to murder one. Oh, y'all don't want to talk about this, huh? Because you women are killing me. Women all over the world, y'all are coming up with great ministries. Y'all got text calls, prayer lines. I mean, I mean, the women are growing and I'm with it, but but y'all got to some kind of way bring my cow into the picture. She wanted no praiser. I'm with you. She was not a praiser. And against her for years and when she did praise the penalty for not praising God was God made her unproductive damn oh y'all didn't hear me but he didn't kill her because he knew number one she was not reared in a praise house and some of y'all are unproductive because you were and you still don't praise him y'all See, if I can get y'all to talk, I can be on the express. You grew up in church. Grandma had the Holy Ghost, made you go to church. Now you're in church acting bougie with a project record. Y'all ain't talking. Trying to act like you were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. say this because I'm in trouble already, but he'll fix it. When people are getting delivered from sin as David and I have gotten delivered, one step before deliverance is this for a folk who will jump. If you know you want to do better, but right now you can't, at least be discreet. Because there are some haters that are going to literally attack your anointing because of what they know about let me say it like this for real talkers never take your sin public you know David was discreet they looked at me like I'm crazy the whole kingdom did not know he slept with Bathsheba he didn't do it like that God sent one of his best friends named Nathan who was a prophet and said approach the leader respectfully and he goes to the leader with a new approach. He says, can I tell you a story? <laughs> See, y'all quiet, rocking. He said, go ahead, tell me. He said, there was a man, let's make it slow, that had a thousand sheep and then another man had one and the one with a thousand took the other man's last sheep. What should be done? David said this man should go through this, that, and the other and give back the man's sheep and restore it unto him. And then he said, this man should be penalized thusly. And then Nathan got up and just said, thou art the man. Which meant, y'all gonna miss this, God did not penalize David, David chose his own penalty. Now, if I say this and you don't jump, I need to walk out and just leave everything because I have messed up because y'all are not hearing what God has given me. And that's this, some of us owe God real crazy praise because he didn't kill us when he should have. Some of y'all still got a fresh scent of sin 
Speaking to 
song, singing the choir. He even loved some of us so that even when we had the proclivities of David and may have had sex out of wedlock with no protection, he didn't let us get infected. You know? His mercy, y'all mighty quiet up here, endure it. I'm not praising God for what he's about to give me. I'm praising God because he didn't kill me. So when you see me, hey, hey, that ain't because there's a new car outside. That's because I woke up the next day after a mistake. God told David, he said, I was going to kill David. I'll talk to you. But then he decides not to kill David. I'm going to kill what his sin produced. to the head. 